you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you guys can see that I'm driving. Um, I'm driving, I got my seatbelt on. I do have Ella with me, um, so I'm only going like 50 right now um, because it is raining and our roads, they tend to hold the water more than the water runs off. Um, and I get that feeling that I'm gonna hydroplane it's only really ever on our main road here, um, so I do go, tend to go a little slower. Um, but I am heading up to Erie, so the last week we've had pretty much seven days straight of rain. Like, it rained one, like, I think it was like last Thursday, and then um, it pretty much rained all It rained all day Thursday. Friday we had a day of very minimal rain. Um, and then it started raining again. And we had one day after that that we had like a two hour break. That I was able to get out and film a few videos to upload onto my TikTok or my Etsy page. Um, it sucks. Honestly, I am so tired of this rain. The rain is causing the mosquitoes to get out of hand because obviously they like the wet, damp environment. Um, and I can't even walk out on my porch for two seconds to hand Tim a little like ratchet set that is not causing me to get bitten by at least two or three mosquitoes. In a quarter it's mile, terrible. Turn left onto the ramp to Erie. Um, I can't take Ella outside unless she's in a long sleeve, at least a long sleeve jacket and pants with tennis shoes and socks on. Um, so the only thing uncovered is her face. It is horrible right now. The ramp to Erie. Um, but I'm getting ready to turn on to the interstate and I will catch you guys there. Um, I need to go to Hot Topic and pick up my sister-in-law's Christmas present. So that is why I am going up. I hear you, I gotta wait for traffic. Um, but yeah, that is why I am going up. Do I want to go up? Not particularly, but it's supposed to rain for the next 10 days in our forecast. And I figure today's a better day than ever because they're gonna be shipping it back to the warehouse and refunding my money if I do not pick it up in the next, I think it was like day or two. I think today is the second to last day that I can pick it up. So obviously I want to get up there and get that before it gets sent back. So I'm headed up to Erie and I will see you guys when I get up there. All right guys, so I am up in Erie now. I stopped at Bath and Body Works and returned the um gel yeah the gel uh hand soap <laughs> um i used it once and i just didn't like the consistency and everything and i called them i said hey i used this once i didn't really care for it um and asked if i was still able to return it or if i could just do like an even exchange they told me that they would go ahead and return it you know um and they said that was no problem, so I brought that back up and I stopped at Hot Topic, got my sister-in-law's gift. Um, I don't have any way to open the packaging right now, so I'll have to wait until I get home and just pray to God that it's not broken. Um, but I just left Michael's. I'm waiting for Tim to text me back to see about stopping at Carter's. I'm getting her a few things for fall. Um, it's one two three shops that way um in this plaza you go freddy um i bought her this little egg thing um in michael's i didn't give her any of the chocolate that's in it um but i got it got the toy out she can have some of the chocolate in a little bit um but they have Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's ten different figurines that you can get. There's Fairy Princess Peppa, Nurse Peppa, Firefighter, Mummy Pig, Businessman Daddy Pig, Knight George Pig, Firefighter George Pig, 
um, Captain Daddy Dog, Dr. Brown Bear, Policeman Freddy Fox, and Queen Susie Sheep. Um, and she ended up getting the Policeman Freddy. Um, but it came in this little like capsule thing here. But I opened that up so she could play with that while we wait. But I got this um, recollect Recollections Special Tea Polyester Glitter. It's not even glitter. Um, they're like little like, I don't even, they're like clay snowflakes things. I don't even know how to describe them. They're like little snowflakes, um, but they're not in any way, shape, form, or anything related to glitter. Um, they're polymer clay, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I got another one, which Ella took it upon herself to take out of the bag and shove in my purse on the way to putting the cart back, because that's how she is. Um, and it is specialty polyester glitter. This one's more of a glitter, it's, you can see. Um, but it's not even glitter, it's like foil cutout things. Um, but they're in the shape of bows, if you guys can see. So, I got those to add into resin items. Um, and that's it. That's all that I've done thus far so I'm just kind of waiting around for Tim to say yes or no to stopping at Carter's um, Ella please just calm down <laughs> um, but I messaged him like five minutes ago six minutes ago something um, it was five minutes ago so I'm hoping he sees my message and replies back because I don't want to just be sitting here um, but it doesn't even show when he was last active which is which is weird he hasn't even seen my message from four o'clock so I'm thinking he's not gonna end up replying I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes if he doesn't respond I'm gonna go across the street and grab some McDonald's or something and then maybe stop over at Ollie's um, I think I might stop at Ollie's first and then see if he responds back. If he hasn't yet at that point, then I'll probably just go to McDonald's and head home. Um, it's currently 4.31, so. I'm gonna go hit up Ollie's, see what I can get myself into over there. And see if he responds back. I'll keep you guys updated and I'll show you guys stuff that I pick up at Ollie's, but... Yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just in time for him. He said IDC. That means he's busy working on his printer, so I'm not even going to bother because I mean, she doesn't need it. She's got plenty of clothes, but. All right, again. <laughs> So I ended up going to Carter's. So we left Michael's. I was gonna stop over Ollie's, um, but Ella started throwing a fit when I went to get her out of the car. She apparently didn't want to go to Ollie's, so I said, screw it. Just got her all strapped back in the car. We went across the street to McDonald's. Um, I told Tim that I was getting some McDonald's and I was just gonna head home. He said, what about Carter's? I was like, well, I didn't think you really wanted me to go. Um, you know, and he said that he was working on his printer that his stepdad called that, you know, he wanted to, he was trying to get done with what he was working on, um, before his stepdad, like, needed him over there. His stepdad usually calls about half hour before he's ready to go. So that gives Tim about half hour, 45 minutes to finish doing what he's doing before he gets like absolute last minute go over um but ella got this little plush cow it's like a passy hoarder and everything but i'm just gonna give it to her as a little stuffed lovey thing um she insisted on it she wanted another like you know one with the horn the animal with the horn um 
but I got up to the register, asked her how much that one was because I, they're originally $18 and that just seems ridiculous to me. Um, and so I asked her how much it was and it was only 10 bucks. So I only, I got her the cow, um, but I asked her if she could just go ahead and put the other one back because I'm not spending that much on those animals. <clears throat> but I did get her one. Then I got her a little bag of goodies. So I got her a few outfits. I think I got her four outfits in total. Um, I got her this little outfit, which has a little horse on it. It's just a little white shirt with a little, like, knot here. This is a size 2T. Um, I held it up to her in the store, and it looks like it's going to be longer than the, like, shirts I get at uh, Walmart. So I just went ahead and got it in a 2T. <sighs> worst comes to worst, I can always bring the shirt back and exchange it for a 3T. But I think we should be good on the sizing and then I got her the matching pants to go with it um, they're just little leggings with little horses bunnies and foxes on them um, to match with the shirt so that outfit let me see <clears throat> um, girls knit bottoms girls knit top the set bottom stop bottom top okay so I don't know they're originally $14 and honestly I think that's what they were I don't I don't know how they rung them up anyways I got her this shirt here which is originally $22 and I know that I did not pay that much um, for a single item but this one is a purple long sleeve shirt I also got it in size 2t it's got a little earth on it it says better together um, and it's got this little like floral print print where the like continents are um, and it's actually got a hood on it which I thought was really cute um, long sleeve and then I got the pants to match which is just the floral print like the continents have also size 2t Ella um, I got this set which is adorable um, hey can you just wait I know it's getting a little warm in here but it's a long sleeve cuffed t-shirt um, it says girls roll like kind of like girls roll and it's got a little 3d bow on it and then it's got these pants with it which have ghosts and pumpkins and they are so stinking cute um, this set was I believe $24 that I paid I think it's the only set that I got so yeah um, Okay, so the single piece sets, the floral continent set, and the horses sets. The pants were um, $6. The tops were $10, which it's weird that the tops were more. This next shirt, I paid $14 uh, for, and the next one I paid $18 for. Um, so this is the $14 shirt. I just thought this was a really cute fall like shirt um it's a long sleeve it's got ruffles on the shoulder it's got the three little button details that actually work the buttons actually work so that's nice um it kind of flares out at the base and then i got these shorts or these pants to go with it so this was 18 that i ended up paying but i ended up getting two pairs of pants in this set so it came with this pink set with like the gold band or these gold striped ones and I thought that these would go really cute together um, not so much these this pair but like this pair I think would look super cute with it so that's everything that I ended up getting at Carter's um, it came to a lot more than I was honestly expecting um, no you can have these when we get home can you say please Don't break my sunglasses, please. <clears throat> um, 
ended up coming to 98. Give me a second here, I'll figure out the total. Came to 98.60. But, <laughs> that's the only thing I hate about Carter's, is they're so ridiculously expensive. But, the clothes are so much cuter, and honestly, the quality is so much better than like Walmart brand. Um, now, I'm gonna head home because it's getting late. It's five o'clock right now and it's still raining. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna take the back roads home. I'm not gonna do the interstates because I don't like driving the interstates when it's raining. But I will see you guys when I get home. See you guys when I get back home. Alright, so if you guys can't tell, there is a little bit of a break in the rain. It's sunny. It's a little bright, honestly. Um but I just got out of Joanne's. Um I like to get some of my resin additives here. Um, I end up getting buttons if you guys were interested. Um, but I did get some stuff here. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. Um, so I picked up four Ella Ray. Hey, you need to be patient. I picked up four of these Tulip Slick um, things. They're like a acrylic paint dimensional fabric paint um, so you've got the tulip slick in true red you've got yellow um, and just violet purple um, and then I also picked up a tulip glow in the dark I'm assuming it's the same thing as the slick just glow in the dark but in green um, I got these because someone shared a drip cup idea with me um, for a tumbler idea and I wanted to try it out and these were $2.49 but they were buy one get one half off so I ended up picking up four of them. I was only going to get the three like slick ones but then I grabbed the like, glow in the dark green one because I figured it was going to be half off anyways so I might as well. Um, so I got those and then as far as resin additives go. <laughs> Oops. I picked up two packs of the Sugar Skull um, buttons because there's only the three in a pack and I wanted to have at least four total so I went ahead and picked up two packs. Um, I picked up this pack. It's called Pencil Box. It's got like little books, um, a glue stick, pencil sharpener, pencil roller, school bus, apple, a chalkboard and there's something else back there but I can't see what it is um, but it's like a school teacher type set um, I got these motorcycles I got this work zone set it's got different kinds of like construction things That's up in my mouth. Um, I picked up another pack of these crayons that I've picked up before. These little bees I thought were pretty cute. Then I picked up these bees because they're honestly a little bit more realistic than the cartoony ones and I liked them. But I wasn't sure if their wings would show up in resin being that they're clear. Picked up a pack of pandas and I picked up this Finding Nemo set. It's got Nemo, Dory, uh, squirt and the three like seagulls and three little buttons that say mine like the seagulls so I picked up all of that stuff at Joann's spent way more than I intended to but it happens um, I just wanted to get some other items that I could add into different like ashtrays and stuff like that because I am getting ready for that craft show 
So I did pick up a, quite a few. Um, I don't know if I'll end up using them all or just a few, but I wanted to have them because I didn't know. I never know what I want to create until I sit down and go to mix up my epoxy. Then I sit down and be like, okay, do I want to make an ashtray or do I want to just do my cups today? Or do I want to make a tic-tac-toe board or do I want to do this or do that? And then I figure out what I want to put in the ashtrays or the boards or anything like that. So I'm headed home now. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. Got everything inside. It's 10 to 7 right now. Um, right now I'm just kind of getting things figured out here. Um, that still has good food in it. All right. So, this is everything that I've showed you guys. Except for this. I haven't shown you guys this. I did tell you guys about it, but it's a little cow lovey that I was telling you about. Um, I guess this one here you don't put a passy on. I know the unicorn that she was looking at getting did, but the cow apparently doesn't. So um, I'm kind of really, really happy that she chose this because our next baby, I want their bedroom to be cow print. Um, I have cow print rug, blankets, crib sheets, everything like that added onto an Amazon baby registry um, that I had started when I found out that I was pregnant. Um, so the fact that she chose a cow with like a cow print made my heart kind of happy. Um, anyways, check out my sister-in-law's Christmas present and then I also have two Amazon packages behind me but I'm not going to be showing the box to this because it does have my address on it so well no it doesn't have my address because I picked it up at the store but it has my um, name and phone number and I obviously don't want my phone number getting out um this is just the return label if Congrats, you've got hot cash. $15 hot cash when you spend 30 or more. What the heck is hot cash? Is it just like... So I spend $30, I get $15 off? Is that what that means? I'm assuming. HBO Max. 10% off your next in-store purchase. And then this is the return label but what is this then is this also maybe a return label maybe uh it might just be my shipping or my package info i don't know but um if you guys shop at hot topic let me know about the hot cash is that like in-store credit type stuff i'm not 100 percent sure um Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this out of here without busting it. Mm -hmm. It's a seven quart slow cooker with removable insert. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's got sandals on her feet. What are you doing? <laughs> we got home. I had to go in and go pee. Um, and there's a mosquito in my house. Got him. Um, I had to go in and go pee. And I opened up the bedroom door and got um, Tom and Jerry going for her just so she had something to do while I was carrying stuff in. The first thing she did was went and looked for her dad. And she came in, she's like, where's daddy? I can't see him. I'm like, honey, daddy's at work. And she like curled up in a ball on the bathroom floor and cried. And I sat there along with her on the toilet and cried because I felt so bad. <laughs> so it came with the 
instructions. And I'm not really going to be taking it all out of the plastic. I just mainly wanted to make sure that the lid and stuff wasn't broke. So here's the lid. The lid is so cute. Um, and then, nope, it is not broken. So a lot of people on Amazon said that when they got here, the removable pan, um, like the actual part that you cook in was busted. Um, and they couldn't find just a plate, like a, a bowl to order so that they had an extra, um, well not an extra, but so that they had one without returning the whole product. And that was my fear is that I was going to get it and it was going to be broken, but it's not. It's cute. She cute. Sis, if you're watching this, look away. But this is what it looks like. It's just black and white. Um, I was telling her that I had ordered it and that, you know, it was a kitchen accessory. I didn't exactly tell her what it was, but I told her it was a kitchen accessory. Um, and she asked if it was like the wooden spoons that we got her for Christmas last year. Um, and what we got her was a set of five or I think it might be four or six. I think it was six. But it was a set of wooden spoons that someone had like wood burned um, Nightmare Before Christmas designs into them. And she doesn't use them. She will not use them. The only thing she does is she has them displayed in a vase of some sort um, to show, like, display them. But she does not use them. She doesn't want to ruin them. Um, and she's like, well, if it's a kitchen accessory, then I'll probably just display it. I'm like, you do not display this piece. It is to be used. I said, if I find you just displaying it and not using it, I'll kick your butt. <laughs> Um, because obviously I don't want her to just get this massive thing just to display. Yeah, I want her to be able to actually use it and that's why I went with what I did for her Christmas present. Um, I'm really hoping that she likes it though. So she's all done. I just need to shop for my brother-in-law and a few things for Tim. Um, obviously Ella, stuff like that, but Tim, I think mainly is going to buy her Christmas presents, but that is done. Now I've got two Amazon packages here and I have styrofoam literally all over me from trying to get that back into its case and I'm super itchy because of all the stupid mosquitoes. So we've got the Bead Nova brand of the gold. This is just like the silver, but the gold jump rings. And then Bead Nova didn't actually have a set um, this size, this size container for the rose gold. Um, they had a variety pack, which had like the smaller to the 10, like, I think it was like four to 10 millimeter sizes. And that was just, they're too small. I don't want to be paying all that money for all those pieces and be able to use a hundred of the rose gold or whatever the set came with. So I ended up going with a different company for the rose gold and these are Yaka brand, um, but they are the rose gold jump rings. And I feel like I just got bit by another mosquito. How do I get into this box? There we go. Okay, that's not what. So they have them in this bag, and the bag is supposed to open up down here, but it opened up at the side because it was too much in the package. But this set that I ended up ordering for the rose gold, um, it's actually 1,200 pieces um, as opposed to the Bead Nova, which is only 900. 
Um, but I like the Bead Nova ones. Um, the silver ones that I have are really great. These ones are a little thinner, but they're, you know, they're still going to work. They're still going to do what I need them to do. Um, but these are the rose gold. So I got my jump rings in finally um, after getting the ones, having to return them and then getting these ones. Um, and then this which is my 20 ounce skinny tumblers. So um, they had mixed reviews. Some people said that they were really good. Others said that they didn't like the lids, which honestly, these lids seem phenomenal. They seem like hard to open and close, which it might get easier with time, but they seem like really good cups. Um, and people were saying that they were, you know, this one's got a little something on it, but I can take a little bit of soap and that'll get covered anyways um, but they were saying that they had dents and all kinds of stuff like that and others were saying that they were great tumblers um, that they keep their drinks warm slash cold depending on what it is that you um, have in there and it, they stay really well that they liked the lids which honestly more people like these slide lids like this than just having the open hole. Um, that's how a lot of people prefer their 20 ounce or their, you know, coffee cups. Um, but so far I'm not seeing like any dents or anything. Um, I did get a pack of eight, so I am going to go ahead and, you know, look at all of them and make sure none of them are dented. But a lot of people were saying that you know, they got a dented one and they thought it was just a bad batch or something like that and they returned it for a, an like even exchange on the same brand, just different, you know, package. Um, and they said that they were dented as well, so they just ended up offering to get their refund. Um, but I don't have a problem with them. I have no issues with them. Um, and it even comes with, there's only four of these, which kind of sucks, of the straw cleaners. But there's two, four, six, eight of the metal straws that I can include with each cup. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I just got that in today. They weren't supposed to get here until, like I said, Friday. Um, but they got here early, so that was even better. What you got in your shirt? Stay out of my stuff, Missy. How many times have I told you to stay out of my Etsy stuff, honey? I know you want a popsicle, so find your popsicle holder that you already have. You have a Paw Patrol one, where is it? You're not using that one. She keeps getting into my um, Etsy stuff and buy, or taking the popsicle holders. And obviously I keep telling her no because they're for future orders and not for her. Now I'm sitting here trying to get these back in here. Oh, come on. Good gracious. All right, so yeah, that's everything that I ended up getting today. Um, I'm gonna get this stuff all put away um, and get her stuff all cleaned up because she cannot stay out of my stuff for some reason. It's seven o'clock, I'm gonna go in and edit and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. <laughs>